Howdy, uh, this is David Levita, guitar player here in Los Angeles, to talk about this amazing Evertune bridge system for guitars that I was lucky enough to have one installed on this 1962 Gibson 335 that was on its last legs, the tuners, which are original, completely shot, no longer holding a tune at all, slip around. Um, you basically could play 30 seconds on this guitar and she would already be out of tune. Um, I haven't tuned the guitar really in about four or five days uh, since I got it back. Um, and if I play a high D chord here on the guitar with an open D string, she's extremely in tune. Um, let's go up to the 20th fret and play an A chord. That's kind of amazing. Um, Normally on this guitar, I would have to tune the guitar specifically for this position, having nothing to do with intonation, you know, even even setting the guitar up perfectly. When you get up here and you tend to bend the string slightly and make it sharp with the Evertune system, it makes it nearly impossible to do that. In fact, quite impossible. So my bad technique is compensated for by this incredible bridge system which has springs inside that are constantly adjusting the string tension to make it play perfectly in tune. This will save, I would estimate, I don't know, somewhere between 30 to 40 percent of time in the recording studio when takes get thrown out because they're out of tune even if the performance was really good and particularly for someone like me who's often asked to layer different layers of guitars and as you add more and more layers of guitar the 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 tuning gets worse and worse you kind of hear the spread it starts to sound very chorus and especially when you're playing against keyboards and other instrument you know digital instruments that are pretty much concert perfect in tune the guitar can sound sour real fast and m me being a fan of old guitars and pretty much playing old guitars this system is kind of revolutionary. For yeah, yesterday I was on the Jay Leno show in a very cold studio, which typically will change the tuning of your guitar radically. I didn't have any problems playing on the TV show. I didn't have to tune the guitar at all. And I took it home since then. It's been in my car, in and out, hot, cold, hot, cold, and still in tune. Amazing. And, uh... 335, as you may know, has a wooden block inside which gives it a nice weight and feel and there is some routing of the guitar that takes place when this bridge is installed. I was very scared about it changing the tone and the feel and the weight of the guitar. Um, as you can see on the back, the way to, that you now string the guitar is straight to the back of the guitar like you would on an old Fender. Um, the guitar actually feels pretty much exactly the same or very close in weight to uh, the condition that I gave it to the company in because they took some of the wood out of here in order to make space for the springs in the system but the, the extra bit of metal here that, that gets added pretty much was a wash and made the weight of the guitar about the same. The guitar sounds electronically I would say, you know, through an amp rather to my ear, hardly changed at all. I would say unchanged um, in the practical world, and that is a great was a great relief to me. You know, I mean, this is this was a grand experiment. Obviously, not a lot of these bridges have been installed on guitars, let alone an old guitar like this. Um, and I would say she passed with flying colors. Um, if you look at the guitar as a whole, the bridge system is not really that bad for an, a vintage instrument. It doesn't really change the look to me that drastically or make it, you know, make it ugly. I mean, I think guitars are beautiful things and, you know, there's something about aesthetics and design that it's very important. And uh, these certainly had a very simple trapeze bridge. I mean, not trapeze, a simple stop tail bridge on them. This is really not adding that much to detract from the beauty of the guitar to me. It's definitely not enough to to deter anybody from putting one of these on a guitar. What can I say? I recommend this 
bridge to anybody that wants to have their guitar play in tune and not have to spend time in the studio sweating and worrying that your guitar is going to be out of tune. Uh, so thanks for having a listen and um, hope to see more of these on many guitars and um, I bow to the genius of the inventors of this amazing system. Thank you.